Hey you guys, it's Melissa Westlake and welcome back to Wine with Mel. I am so beyond honored to introduce you all to today's guest, but before we get to him, let's get to the wine. Today we have a vintage 2019 Pinot Grigio Chalice Lane. A bit more tart, but with a refreshing finish and notes of pear, honeydew, and citrus, this wine pairs well with your spicy food dishes. I am so beyond honored to introduce you all to freelance hairstylist and entrepreneur and very dear friend of mine, Maria London. Hi, babe. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Of course. I would love for you to tell our audience a little bit about who you are, where you hail from, how'd you get into what you did. I mean, we'll get into that later, but yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. He's like, oh my God. Well, I'll this first, so... But, um, hello, I'm from LA, by way of Nashville now, because oh, yes. I yes. recently relocated to Nashville. Mm -hmm. I'm a freelance hairstylist yes. currently. Um, right before the pandemic hit, I left the salon life, mm -hmm. and basically just, I ended up getting busier during the pandemic, yeah. since everything was closed, and doing it freelance in Nashville now. It's a little slow out mm -hmm. there, but I'm yeah. getting the wheels going, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Entrepreneur, well, I just started my site with uh, my boyfriend's help. Yes. So it's an underwear site. It's called Just for Gays, but mm -hmm. it can be for anybody, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I mean, everyone needs underwear. Everyone, Some of I us mean, like it a little cuter or a little sexier, but I got stuff for everybody. <laughs> well, honey, you ain't got to tell me twice. You know, I'll be up in there. So. <laughs> Maybe not for you. <laughs> it's fine. It it's is fine. men's underwear. He's like, it is for men, girl. <laughs> mentality. I love it. <laughs> I would love to tell our audience you have worked with models such as Sarah Stage, Phoenix Sky, Anastasia Nova. You've also done international hairstyling in Monterey, Mexico. Mm -hmm. How was that? That was interesting. Um, you know, I went with my boss at the time, so a colorist that I was working with and under, and it was probably the craziest work that I have ever had to do. You know, we get to the salon 7 a.m., you leave 10 p.m., and it's just like all these ladies, and I don't know if it's just the culture, but mm -hmm. women in Mexico like to take their time, <laughs> and you know, they want your attention, your full attention. It's like, girl, I got someone coming in in <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> we need to get you dry. But honestly, it was so much fun. I loved mm -hmm. going uh, to Mexico. I would always stay like an extra two days mm -hmm. and just explore, get lost. And, Love you know, I've gone out with some of the girls that I met working. Mm -hmm. So that was always That's fun. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It definitely is part of the culture, though, because, you know, as Latinos ourselves, I don't know about you, but when I've gone into hair salons, especially the Dominican shops, y'all, especially over in the Bronx and Washington Heights, if you know what I'm talking about, um, we just sit there, we drink some wine, they put the rollers in, they put you underneath the hair dryer, and you're talking. I mean, I know I'm like, yeah. that when I sit down in my barber, I'm like, yeah. well, this is my 30 minutes. Yeah, so. <laughs> 30 minutes turns into like an hour and a half. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 no. He's like, get out, you paid your time. <laughs> How did you get into hair styling? Um, honestly, I kind of just fell into it. Mm -hmm. Like, I was doing reception work at a doctor's office, and yeah. the doctor was freaking crazy, so mm -hmm. I was like, I just need to get out of this. Mm -hmm. And I already enjoyed being around people, and so I didn't like going to school, so I decided, why not get my hands into other people's head? And I think mm -hmm. the only, like, thing that I was worried about was, what am I gonna do if someone comes in with a dirty head of hair? Honestly, I'm just like, it's it's not as bad as you would think. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Because I'm over here like, oh. Why is like, your hair dirty? Child, no, you know I can't wash these curls. I can only wash them once, maybe twice a week, yeah, depending on how much I sweat. So. It's probably been like two weeks almost for me, but it's not as bad as you think. Really? You've yeah. never been like super grossed out by it? No. 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 Huh. And I mean, I went to Santa Monica College, so yeah. some of our clients were not like, you know, the best of the best that you yeah. want to be working with. Some yeah. are like, they're coming in, some are off the streets, mm -hmm. and you know, they just want their, their hair cut, and yeah. they have knots, and blah, blah, blah. As long as there was nothing that could like affect mm -hmm. our health, yeah, it, nothing was scary, you know? I okay, mean, yeah. You wash it, you shampoo it, and 
get to work. He makes it sound so <laughs> simple, y'all. I'm over here like, if I ever I had to touch like, someone else's head. <laughs> no. Nope. first time nope. I was stressed. <laughs> you know, nothing like the first time. Cheers <laughs> <laughs> to that, my dude. Nothing like the first time. <laughs> but, you know, with hairstyling, you have to have a certain sense of confidence in what you're doing, right? Yes. And, you know, I spoke to our audience earlier, you know, in, in introducing you. Confidence is something that we've always had when we were young, but we hit this certain age where we just start overthinking everything and we don't know what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And that confidence kind of gets just lo- lost in a way. Where do you get your confidence from? Ooh, I mean, shit, I'm sweating here, <laughs> so sorry for the bad words. It's oh my hard, god. It's um, <laughs> honestly, it's a daily, you know, you, you gotta put yourself in that mindset. I mean, I know there's some people that it, it's just shining out of them, but mm-hmm. to me, it's like, one day I could be great and everything, and the next day I'm like, why am I doing this? Like, mm-hmm. what is wrong with me? I have a big wedding in May mm-hmm. that I'm doing here for, I think it's like eight or 10 girls. Oh, wow. And it's just me. Just you. And I'm like, oh my God, am I ready for this? Mm-hmm. Have, have I been doing enough work this year to like be doing that? Yeah. But it's like, you just have to, for me personally, I just have to step back, take a breath, take a shot, or, you know. <laughs> take a shot. <laughs> something, and just remind myself, you know what, they're coming to me asking for my service, and yeah. if I don't believe in myself, these girls aren't, mm-hmm. you know? So, you have to, you just have to remember that yeah. people are asking for you, and that that's good. That, that should build you up already mm-hmm. to take on the job, yeah. you know? Have, has there ever been a moment where, whether you were doing someone's hair or right before you were going to do someone's hair, um, that you just felt just so low, where you were just like, I really, honestly, I don't want to do this anymore in my life. Like, this isn't my passion anymore. This isn't what I what I see myself doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. Usually, earlier, when I was, like, doing color in my earlier mm-hmm. years, I've been doing hair for, like, almost eight years, mm-hmm. so... Then I would get nervous, like, you know, bleach and chemicals and you know, it, part of you, it's like, is this hair going to stay on the head, you know? But, <laughs> I'm sorry, um, I mean to laugh, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm sorry for those people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, continue, continue. But yeah. earlier, I think it was <laughs> midsummer. I did have a client. She honestly, she was telling me one thing and so I took her on. It was because it was a friend of a sister's mm-hmm. and she had like henna in her hair mm-hmm. and which is you know natural hair dye but yeah. if I put highlights in that the hair could start sparking it could melt it could bleach so I tried to do what I could but I knew she wasn't happy you know and yeah. I wasn't happy so like that day you know and I mm-hmm. it was only last year I, I was I got low on myself mm-hmm. and you know I had a girlfriend there and she was like honestly you know, you didn't mess her up. She looked better than when she came in. Mm-hmm. You didn't give her that final result, but sometimes it takes a while. It takes a while. So, what do you mean sparking? Like her hair sparking? It could be because it's a, like henna color has metals in it. Okay. So it'll react with the, the lightener. Not necessarily sparking, but it's like, <laughs> like I'm going to it could, the there's been color. instances not with me, but that yeah. I learned about in school, it could smoke. Just the chemical reaction. Yeah. You are working with like, you know, yeah, yeah. science. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. I could never imagine my curls just being like <laughs> like like so like the other day he comes to me and he's like, Hey, so um, you know, you have some some gold in your hair. I was like, Oh yeah You know and, <laughs> and he's like I want, he's like, I wanna put some gloss in there. I was like, I got virgin hair, honey, you ain't trying to put nothing up in this hair. He's like, No, it's not chemical, it's, it's not the chemical. same, it's fine. We're doing it. <laughs> I'm going to update y'all when that happens. <laughs> but I want to talk uh, a, a little bit about this move. You mentioned it earlier mm-hmm. from Nashville. So moving to a new place is always very scary. I know when I moved from New York to L.A., I was just like a mess. How was it for you? Because you're a native person from L.A., mm-hmm. you know. How was it moving, literally picking up your whole life and moving to Nashville? Right now, I like to say I'm a little bi-coastal because my time is kind of <laughs> flexible. I mean, I've only been there two months, and I've already been back twice. Mm-hmm. And my trips aren't just a weekend thing. I'm mm-hmm. here. I was here 10 days last time, seven mm-hmm. days for this trip. Um, but honestly, there's been days where I miss my friends, yeah. you know? And I, I think that's that's the most 
that I'm having to deal with because mm -hmm. I, I did go with my boyfriend and you know he wanted to move and his family's there I've never ever lived outside of California so yeah. I was like why not if not now when when you know? yeah um, you don't want to regret either not going or holding back your partner mm -hmm. you know because you're scared so mm -hmm. I was like let's just go let's do this thing and I mean honestly I've been happy but mm -hmm. I think the, the worst of it has just been missing you know like you or my family because yeah. they're all here so yeah and moving is especially because you didn't have a very easy process you know a lot of your luggage got yeah. lost yeah had that happen it's not fun yeah, no. um <laughs> you know and you and it's like you said you moved with your boyfriend it is very different when you're living with somebody mm -hmm. completely i mean you're in a relationship yes you've yeah. been in a relationship for a while but like especially during quarantine now there's all these factors to take spare in spare bedrooms yes for bathroom you know <laughs> have your own space you <laughs> <laughs> if he's mad at me i can go in the guest room i so you mentioned that he helped you with just for gays as well. Yes. What made you guys want to come up with the site? Honestly, I think it was just having a, I don't want to say safe space, but like a, a space for, you know, any gay guy or just any guy um, to go and have underwear. We categorized it into three different things. So it's like basics, your everyday. Mm -hmm. We have sexy, which is going to be, you know, things like with leg straps and stuff, mm -hmm. like stuff you would take photos in or yeah. go-go dancing yes. in. Yeah. Uh, and then we have like your hookup. So like jock straps, see-through stuff, things like that. Easy take off or you don't need to take it <laughs> off to, to, to get off. <laughs>
the Chavez Lane pita it's, frigio. It's delicious. Yeah. It's great. I loved yeah. it. Refreshing. Did mm -hmm. it keep you a little bit? Cool, calm, collected during the interview? Definitely cool. I don't know about calm. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, these lights. <laughs> these lights? This was refreshing. I mean, you were the first person to actually pour the wine in our interview. In the, out of however many that we have, so. What? Yeah. Hey, Mario, it has been such a pleasure to have you on this show. I want to give you the floor right now to our audience and just Plug anything that you want to plug. Share any last gems that you want to share. I mean, the floor is yours. Whatever you would like, my Whoa. dear. Oh, wow, Whoa. again, on me. <laughs> <laughs> you would think by now I'd be Bond. Um, basically, everyone go to Just Four Gays. That's J-U-S-T, the letter four, gays.com. Put those orders in. I mean, I'm going to say this shamelessness right As now. As you should. I was my first order. We yes. Low no price. And if I you bought, don't support you know, yourself, yeah, who's gonna support, support you? Or you? I believe yeah. in our products yes. and come shopping. And if you're in the Nashville or LA area, come get your hair done. Hit me up on Instagram yes. at Mario London. Yes, we are going to put all of his information below. Also, we're gonna put the website in there and just keep you updated on what Mario is doing. Thank you so much, babe. No, I thank appreciate you. you so much. I I honor your friendship and I just and I'm wait to continue this journey with yes. you and cheers to cheers. Us. thank you Woo!